Junction, River City, next station stop. You're crazy with the heat. Credit is no good to an ocean salesman. Lord, oh Lord. Why not? What's the matter with credit? Why is old fashioned? Charlie, you're an Anvil salesman. Your firm get credit? No, sir. No, or anybody else. River City, River City, next. Cash for the merchandise. Cash for the button hook. Cash for the cotton goods. Cash for the hard goods. Cash for the soft goods. Cash for the fancy goods. Cash for the noggin bins bigger than the Perkins. Cash for the hog tank, cask and demijohn. Cash for the crackers and the pickles and the fly pickles. Look, footy talk, footy talk, footy talk, footy talk, footy talk. Where do you get it? Footy talk. You can talk, you can talk. You can bicker, you can talk. You can bicker, bicker, bicker. You can talk, you can talk, you can talk, 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 talk. You can bicker, bicker. You can talk all you want. That's different than it was. No, it ain't, or it ain't, but you got it on the territory. Why is Model T for me? The trouble me, the people wanna go, wanna get, wanna get, wanna get up and go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, twenty-two, twenty-three miles to the time you see. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Who's gonna patronize a little bitty two by four kind of store anymore? Pretty hot, pretty hot, pretty get it. At the Model T at all. Take a get her at the store, at the moderate store, the present day store, the present day moderate deep art, middle-eyed grocery store. Pretty hot, pretty talk, pretty talk, pretty talk, pretty talk, pretty get it. Pretty talk, pretty talk, pretty talk, pretty get it. You can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. You can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't. It's got to be Why, you took a uni to biscuit in the trouble. The uni is uni to put the crackers in a package in a pack. You need a biscuit in an air tight sanitary. Package made the cracker barrel. Awfully, 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 awfully. Cracker girl went out the window with the mail pouch cup club charm by the stove. Easy approach to the traveling salesman. It did pretty hard. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. But you got to the it. for God, God, God with the hog head desk and then with John Don with the cracker barrel, sugar barrel, don't care. God with the hell. Hey, that's weird. Never meet a fellow by the name of Hill. 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 No. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Never heard any salesman, Hill. Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory? It's a fellow line. Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line? Well, the cracker barrel being out of sleep. Well, do you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package with a Model T board? Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. We're a doggone thing. He's just a plain meat girl, big and big, all great gold, neck and nothing, red bar, and every double bullseye sales. That's it, Mr. Harold Hill. 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 Tell us what's his line, what's his line. He's a fake, and he doesn't know the territory. Look, what he talk, what he talk, what he talk, what he talk. He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man, and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the right attack drums and the big brass bass, big brass bass. Piccolo, the piccolo, the uniform suit, shiny gold brain on the coat, and the big red stripe running. Well, I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can't take a living solid big trombone. No, sir. Madeline picks for half, and here and there, too. Oh, far. the Bells of Band. Boys Band. I don't know how he does it, but he lives like a king, and he dallies and he gathers, and he plucks and he shines. When the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The Viper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, Certainly, boys. What else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you tell me about the territory. River City, River City, across the state in Twyla. Population 2212. Cigarettes be illegal in this state. All right, here I'll, here I'll tell you about this fellow Hill. You really know Harold Hill? Never saw him in my life, but I know this much. He's giving every one of us a black eye. After he works the count over, the next salesman in there automatically gets tarred and feathered and wrote out some cigarettes down the road. <laughs> you think that's funny? Well, wait till it happens to you. Sometimes your hair never grows back. But why should you get wrote out of town on the rail? Because in order to sell band instruments and uniforms and instruction books, you have to guarantee to teach those kids to play. Well, and form them kids into a band with himself as the leader. What's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another. That's what's wrong with that. He can't tell the bass drum from the pipe organ. I'll catch up to that two-bit swirling thimble rigger. When I do, I'll squeal on him so loud. Well, you're mad, Charlie. She'll like to be around when you catch up with that fella. Well, it won't be on this trip. Not in Iowa. Not even the great Professor Hill will try to sell them neck bone Hawkeyes out here. Lord! Gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I'll have to give Iowa a try. Don't believe I got her. I don't believe I dropped <laughs>
for leader and singing. And to JC Squires for his fine stereotypes and slurs. And to Ethel Tuck. As Mayor of River City, I'd like to welcome you representatives to the 4th of July festivities set up for the indoors here at Maxim Gymnasium. I come for all the weather. Members of the school board will now present a patriotic castle. The members of the school board will not present a patriotic castle. Some disagreement about costumes, I suppose. Instead, the wanton e girls. We'll take your leading part.
that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? Another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hooked with as some people of this town, and I think it only fair to warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there, which may very well give me some interesting information about you. Hi, Marcy. Don't call me Greg. How'd you make out with the music teacher? Scrumptious. Ate out of my hand the minute I tip my hat. She did? Why, you could have slopped the night. For a minute there, even I thought you knew something about leading the band. Just like when you used to imitate that band concert fellow back in the job. Yeah. Oh, kid stuff. I'm in rare form these days, son. Just you keep your eyes on me for the next four weeks. Four weeks? It only used to take ten days for this mitts to rise. Still does. It takes four weeks for the uniform. Oh, no, Craig, you haven't had the uniforms. Uniforms and instruction the books. Instruction booklets? You can't pass yourself off as a music <coughs> professor. I mean, for any four weeks. Come on. Ah, uh, you don't know one note from another. I have a revolutionary new method called the Think System, where you don't follow me. But in four weeks, people want to hear music, and you'll have to leave band. But when the uniforms arrive, they forget everything else at least long enough for me to collect and leave. This is a refined operation, son, and I've got a time right down to the last wave of the Ravens' hand on the last train out of town. And now, Mr. Washburn, you and Stu, you're gonna do some good news, huh? Well, say, I can fix you up with Ethel's sister, lovely girl, who teaches Sunday school. No wide-eyed, eager, wholesome, innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That guy, a gal, spins webs no spider. Now listen, boy. A gal who trades on all that purity really wants to trade my independence for her security. The only offer that she will buy refers to marching down the aisle of golden glorious gleaming wristing goddess. No, sir, for no Diana, do I play on? I can tell you that right now. I stop. I hit. How can ignorance be compared?
Madison. Madison. Madison Gymnasium, Madison Family Park, Madison Hospital, that Madison. Exactly who do you think he was anyway? Well, I should say, show up gave the town the library too, didn't he? That's just it. When he died, he left the library building to the city, but he left all the books to her. She was seen coming and going from his place. Oh yes, oh yes. She made brave enough for two to get to the
myself any plan if I was a Quaker on his day off. Don't worry about a thing. 
I'm sweet at heart, she's as lovely as yourself. Good day to you with a parole. He has, and I hope not forever. Darla, don't you ever think of your future? Gary in the end, conservation class of all five. Now, darling. Now, Mama. Surely a girl's future doesn't depend on encouraging every fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing traveling man who comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, darling, all right. But it's a well-known principle that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, you'll never strike much of a fire. No! Oh. <laughs> a quick, a quick, a quick. I know you're there. Okay. Please go to the library and ask Miss Brooke to give you the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? You won't have to talk to anyone. I've written it all down. Thank you. So what are you up to? How many books at this hour of the night? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal may help me poke some large holes in the professor's claim. Well, I give up. But at your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come writing along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Briner, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Mm-hmm. Or Ed Damage and that buggy of his, with the removable back seat. But I'm not waiting for a man in shiny white right armor.
music holder for the marching piccolo player. Still has a couple of minor flaws. See, you can't find the music steady. You cut off the circulation. You can't wiggle your fingers. Meanwhile, you could go blind. Oh, oh Tommy, it's Papa! Is that the first thing I said? Yes, the the very first thing. Early ham, ham, horse. Get that spell on his credentials, I said. Morning of July 4th. And now, look. My wife is out dancing at any and all hours instead of being in the home. But George! But nothing. The school board is singing up down the street and down alley. Well, this girl is booting around with some wild kid. And my business is falling off so far, I can't even find the balance sheet. Hey, Shin, I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hills on the Lotus. Is who? University. I know all about that. In fact, that's the only thing I could ever get out of. Gary Conservatory, class of off five. If you'll just take time to read a little bit about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look further. It's on page... Papa, the most graduated is coming to the depot! Oh, what a story! That's this holiday nonsense. The Wells Fargo Wagon... Give me the band instrument! The band
testimonial from Matt Haney, the only female bassoon player ever to appear on the Red Pastor stage. And of course, actually, she was from Moline. Lyra Rose Black. Uh, did I see that for you? Oh, you'll never forget the name Lyra Rose. Same as the old song. Lyra Rose, I home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky.
East Elm. This is West Elm. Ah, crikey. See the piano teacher in town. You must know about this little hill for my boys, man. Yes. Well, don't let it worry you no more. I got the good on him in spades. We're well, too busy to murder. That's why I got to see Shin. I'm just passing through. Number eight only makes a 15 minute water stop. Wish it was 20. I'd sure like to concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cow. Anvil salesman. <laughs> Just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me. He's not going to spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see through him? Why, he's no more music professor. I know all about that. All band leaders are called professor. It's a harmless deception. Now, he's a fine director in his scholastic. Now, wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one note of music from any band? Well, no, but I. But nothing, little girl. He never formed a band in his life, and he never will. You just listen to me for a minute. I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that if I had the time. I sure got the inclination. But I gotta get back on that train and I gotta leave this dynamite with somebody on the way to the depot. Bye, girl to girl. See you next time. You'll never make the train to the depot. You'll have to catch you at the cross. No, sir. I got to leave word and I can see you ain't the one to leave it with. Just who is Mr. Cowboy? You don't know me yet. Is that an invitation? <laughs> I mean, I don't know you. I'm... Yes, I need more time anyway. I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there, girly girl. I've never met a man who sells animals. That's something, well, quite different. Takes a real salesman, I can tell you that. Anvils have limited appeal, you know. <laughs> what am I doing? I missed that train, I'll get fired. And I got to leave word about that bell wheel. You quoted with me? Not on your team, Ty. How do I know you deliver these letters? Right. There's your train! Now run for it! Why, you double-down little, who do you think you're picking? That guy's got a girl in every county in Illinois. And that's 102 counties. And he's taking it away from every one of them. Not counting piano teachers like you, you go to the you keep your mouth shut. Neither one of you's heard the last me. Miss Marion? You and Marion come up and sit. I've got some jelly on the stove. There's no jelly on the stove, Mama. Well, I'll put some on. <laughs> Shall we sit? As your mother said? Well, I... You did ask me to call. Did I? I didn't mean anything. Now, Miss Marion, I'm not suggesting your invitation inferred anything but academic enlightenment. <coughs> Think system? I've been by your house to try to explain it to you a time or two, but there always seem to be people around. Mostly ladies, I thought. Yes, Mrs. Squires and several other ladies. Good, wouldn't want anybody beating my time. You would? No, ma'am. Well, it's definitely not a convenient evening. I'll see you later at the social board. Professor Hill, is it really true that you had a hundred... What I'm trying to say is... Yes? Is it really true that you developed a... a think system? A what? Oh, think system. Yes. Well, it's really very simple. As simple as whistling. Nobody has to show you how to use your lips and whistling. You only have to think it to to have it come out clearly here. Now why don't you try? I take your work. Could we sit down? Are all music teachers as dense as I am? All music teachers? I dare say you mean dozens, even a hundred. Well. Have they all been as fascinated as I have with the think system? Some more, some less. One young lady actually thought the same system before I got to her town. She uh, showed me a few refinements. I see. Have I said something wrong? Please don't let me keep it, Professor Hill. You must have many more important things to do than to explain the think system to me. Oh, yeah, they can. I must be very dull company for a man of your experience. Now say, where'd you get an idea like that? One hears rumors of traveling salesmen. 
Now, Ms. Marion, you mustn't believe everything you hear. After all, one even hears rumors about librarians. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Matt. Uncle Matty. Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me at a sure job so Mother and Winthrop and I would have some security. Surely you... No, 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 of course not. That's what I'm trying to say. And why do you think people start those rumors? Narrow-mindedness? <clears throat> Jealousy? Jealousy mostly, I guess. Exactly, and jealousy mostly starts rumors about traveling salesmen. What have you heard? Oh, nothing about you personally, just generally. What have you heard generally? Just that, but it stands to reason that, that disappointment and jealousy can lead to, I mean, well, take you for instance. Your attentions to customers and, well, teachers might easily be misinterpreted, might they? I mean, now, honestly, might they? Why? And so you say, if another salesman or somebody were jealous, well, they could be downright lies, couldn't they? What could? Rumors and things. Why, of course they could. It just proves you should never believe everything you hear, doesn't it? I mean, if you discuss things... Miss Miriam, I would be delighted to discuss anything in the world with you, but couldn't we do it sitting down? You do sit. Your knees bend and all. <laughs> you can also sit in a large hollow log over the footbridge. I couldn't think of it. I've never been to the footage with a man in my life. Just to talk. I can't ask for the social group. Then meet me there in 15 minutes. I just can't. Please? Some other time? Maybe tomorrow. My dear little library, you pile up enough tomorrows and you'll find you've collected nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. I don't know about you, but I'd like to make today worth remembering. Oh, so would I. Quick, Rich. 15 minutes. Minutes. Glory be, the saints be praised of work! Linda, I've been using the big system on you from the parlor!
things you don't know about. Excuse me, I'm expecting a cable from Hector Burleyoids, and this could be it. <laughs> now what? Who's a salesman here? Sounds like she's selling and you're buying. You nuts? I didn't know I was going to be able to leave tonight, but I, I had to keep her off balance. I told you, didn't oh, I? She's so far off balance, you can't tell her to get what nerve came. Listen, Buster Brown, I came up for the ranks on this skirmish, and I'm not residing without my commission. Now be Never a peaceful moment in the music business. Now then, where were we? You were back to tell me what I don't know about you. Yeah, well, we don't need to get into that right now, do we? No, we don't. Or ever, for that matter, Harry. The librarian hasn't felt much like doing any research lately. But she did plenty when you first came here. Oh, about what? About Professor Harold Hill, Gary Conservatory of Music, <coughs> Gold Medal Class of Art 5. Harold? There wasn't any Gary Conservatory not five. Why, there certainly. The the town wasn't even built until August six. I'll see you at the social. You knew all the time? Since July 7th, three days after you came, I tore this page out of the Indiana Journal. It was originally intended to use against you, but now I give it to you with all my heart. But if you knew why, why you live. With a hundred and ten cornets right behind And I mostly took my place as the one and only base And I fought up and down the square Well, a hundred and ten cornets
you want to know. Can you lead a band? No. Nope. Are you a big fat liar? Yes. Are you a dirty rock girl? <laughs> yes. Leave me alone, you big liar! Well, what's the matter? You wanted the truth, didn't you? I'm bigger than you are, and you're going to sit here and get it all, so you might as well take it. There's two things you're entitled to know. One, you're a wonderful kid. I thought so from the start. That's why I wanted you in the band, so you quit moping around feeling sorry for yourself. What band? I always think there's a band, kid. And what's the other thing I'm entitled to know? Well, I'm thinking that the other thing is any of your business. I wish you never came to River City! No, you don't, Winter. Do you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. Thank <laughs> you. 